Hey everyone, sorry I couldn't be here. Uh, I know AJ wanted me to give some examples of how to create some articles, uh, Facebook ads, and among some other things. So let's take a look at this particular article. This article is actually a quiz, so I'm sure you've seen those on Facebook. So like, what type of you know personality are you? What type of blank are you? So. In this case, it's what type of, uh, I believe, like seating piece of furniture that you are. So it goes through a series of questions like beetles or stones, pick a color, profession. I mean, they keep it really fun. Pick a TV show that you like, pick your luxury car. Um, Man, uh, none of these are really for me, but uh, if I had to choose one here, probably be Tesla. Uh, pick a city. And then pick something to wear. Again, they just keep it fun. And then you'll get your answer after this. You can do these type of things on WordPress, and I highly suggest you guys using WordPress on an external blog that is completely separate from your own site. But yeah, then you can kind of indoctrinate them with uh, images that you might have on your own store just to get them familiar with that. Uh, we'll move on to another example. All right, this is a classic example of a list style post. So like 10 modern pieces of furniture that can go well, in any modern or contemporary home. Totally agree that pianos look pretty classy. Again, they're just uh, showing their images here. Farm table. Chairs, of course. Of course, you got the chandeliers. This type of casing is very cool. Modern table. More chairs, more beds. Again, they're not like labeling the, the exact name here, which is perfectly fine. Because you don't want to come across as overly salesy. These have actually been pretty popular. I've seen them around quite often. Yeah, another example of an article that'll do. I like this one. It's about uh, some dream homes and some ideas of what you would include in your dream home. So again, tons of images. And each one, uh, I believe, links back to the the seller, which is fine to do. Just mix it up. You don't want it to be all your stuff. Yeah, like this is pretty cool. Huh. Never would have thought of having a a diner like feel in your home, but that's that's interesting. That is a stylish laundry room that would give people ideas. Heck, this I'm pretty sure this is a stab at having a a bathtub for your dog. Something I probably would buy. <laughs> How much do you think that sofa is? And the custom lighting. And of course the outdoor stuff. Yeah, all very expensive stuff. See what I mean, guys? Like, they're just keeping it really chill, short to the point. And they just go number by number by number with tons of different ideas to get people excited.
So all you guys gotta do is get people excited, emotional. This screams Pinterest. Yeah, very cool. Another great example of what you can show to people to get their emotions rolling. All right, this particular example is a specific home example. So we're actually going to go to Austin, Texas, where AJ lives. And this was built on a just kind of an empty lot from my understanding. So yeah, people like to see just, you know, examples of homes kind of built from the ground up too. As you can see here, they're really trying to focus on 20 years from now. So they're really trying to keep it modern and timeless. It's told in a very story-like manner. Yeah, see, story-like manner, I was pregnant and nesting and if you guys are having trouble with creativity and writing i suggest you go back to elementary school and start <laughs> going from the basics And kind of learn through osmosis by just reading some of these articles. Huh. That's like a pretty cool concept. Oh, yay, happy family. Anyways, good examples there. I'm going to move on to what you shouldn't do for writing a product description and what you should do. Okay, I think everyone knows this site because AJ keeps talking about it. Um, let's take a look at the product description. Um, this is... Something I would not do because it just kind of goes straight into the the nitty gritty details. Um, what I like to do is instead of just going into the nitty gritty details like this, I prefer to tell a story or tell the problem that someone can relate to and maybe even using a GIF. Um, I mean, some of this stuff, you know, of course, is important to have just so they they know the specs, but that's not what really sells people. That's just, again, the nitty gritty details, and it's, it's going to be hard to get excited about a ball and socket Nordic spruce. You know, that's <laughs> stuff people don't get excited about. At least I don't. Uh, a little bit more about the brand. No one really cares. <laughs> yada, yada, yada. All right, let me show you what, what I would write instead. All right, so I just come up with one, one simple fact at the beginning. And then I look into the history of Sana. So I'll actually go out and Google and then Start looking up the history of whatever thing that I'm selling so that I can give them a background on it. And then I like to tell a story. So I don't know if you guys have a gym membership or whatnot, but we all know that story all too well when you go to a shared sauna in your fitness club only to find yourself in an awkward conversation with strangers. That's not exactly relaxing, right? Uh, then you can further hit them with a GIF using Jiffy or some sort. And then um, 
Then you hit them with the solution, some of the benefits of it, not the technical specs, the benefits of why it's actually good to go into a sauna. And then, yes, there's more work to do. You can give them a free PDF guide on complimentary wellness of that sauna life. So go out, you can even create a Google Doc and then just customize it to make it look pleasant. And then ideally have your supplier shoot a walkthrough video of whatever you are selling. Doesn't matter if it's furniture, whether it's lighting, whether it's a sauna, have them do a walkthrough. And then you can start to get into the nitty gritty, which some people will need just because they need to know how much space it will take, uh, your warranties, etc. But yeah, pretty, pretty simple. You just, again, state the problem or tell a story, have them relate to it, give them the true benefits that they can relate to and why they would want to have your product and then go into the nitty gritty, okay? Okay, so this is a viral type style page that I like to pay attention to. Apparently some other internet marketers like to pay attention to because they are my friends. Anyways, so here is an example. And it's their pin post. It's a pretty cool looking bed, right? If I made this video, I would do it with shorter cuts actually. She looks photoshopped in there. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> but look at all the shares. I'm not, not so concerned about the, the amount of engagement it gets here for the likes or reactions, but the shares shows that it's truly something worthwhile. And that goes for anything that you advertise. It's the shares that make the difference. Comments are pretty good too, but wow, at the number of shares. Ah, that's awesome. Let's go look for some more examples. Um, let's check the videos. Um, wow, interesting stuff. Anyways, I'm getting distracted. Uh, let's see, this might be something worth it. This machine. Um, in this instance, they immediately stated the solution. I prefer to state the problem first. Again, I would create shorter cuts. Anyways, that's another example. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to find some. Okay, I like these wall bed systems. Uh, this is a good example of demonstration. They will save you space, indeed they will. This would be useful for people, especially in tighter quarters in bigger cities. Actually, wouldn't hesitate to fast forward more of this. Yeah, 
So yeah, again, a lot of demonstration of how their products work. That was a spin version, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, your suppliers aren't going to make these videos. You will have to make them, but it doesn't mean you can't get them to to make the video for you or get some of their, let's, let's say if you are selling furniture, it doesn't mean you can't get it into, you know, um, model homes for, for real estate agents because, yeah, it's a great place for them to advertise. And not only that, but some of their... Um, the people that are looking to buy the homes, they might end up buying the products too. Of course, that won't be your sale, but just having it in a home setting will be a, a good environment to shoot a video. Uh, I keep getting blown up on Facebook. What else? Sure, some other things. New Stratter shirt. Um... This is a good site for ideas for low ticket items for sure. Trying to find another example of a high ticket item. These, mm -hmm. Okay, let's check this out. This looks like a beer chair. Looks similar to those Adirondack chairs or whatever you call them. Yeah. I don't know what these cost, but I'm sure you could look that up and then just kind of look where it goes. But yeah, guys, those are just some some simple videos that are clearly uh, going viral and perhaps something to look into. That's all I do. But I always make sure to either make the the product link go to. I shouldn't say product link, I should say the link you know, below a video goes towards a, a pre-sale page, which we were talking about in, in those articles. Or of course, a quiz page, whatever you want to do. I'm sure you've seen BuzzFeed do all sorts of quizzes. Yeah, lots, lots of good stuff. This is just one site that I look at that you guys might be able to pick out from. Oh, I'm sure people have seen this one. If it loads. I right, got it to load. Here we go. Everyone grills. Mm, corn, I best not Iowa corn though. This is something I probably would buy actually. Legit. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a. Uh, I'm a grilling whore, so yeah, I would definitely buy it. Anyways, yeah, examples are here. Go out and find some more examples. Um, and then make your own pages. So I know some of you are probably wondering how the, how the hell do you curate content and such. Well, I do have a tool that helps me curate all the content for my own fan pages. So check it out. Okay, so I'm in the tool that I'm using for myself. It's actually in the advanced traffic part of the course, so the link is there. I'll also post it at the end of this too. But it essentially allows me to curate the content very quickly. So let's say I'm just looking to post a bunch of modern 
home photo designs on my page. I could just click on, let's say, this one. You can visit the page and check it out. I'm just going to click discover content. And then it populates 242 photos for me right here. And I can simply select all. And then I can go to post selected. I choose the page I want to post it on. Obviously, I'm not going to post it on seven figure skills, but I can simply schedule the date that we post it, the time that it posts every day. So let's say uh, 3 p.m. Actually, let's do uh, 6 p.m. And I don't have a delay. And then every 24 hours, I schedule it. And then it all posts to my page automatically. And I'm done. Pretty cool, right? And then you can do that for as many pages as you like. You can do it for videos, etc. It's pretty sick. Um, yeah, come to think of it, it is in, specifically in the, the fan page or community page uh, strategy within the course. Or you can just simply go to uh, this link here. Let's let you see that real quick. I guess it's kind of a sales pitch because it's, it's such an awesome tool that saves me a massive amount of time and builds all my fan pages on autopilot. So if you're not using it, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's going to take you a hell of a lot of time, but I highly suggest getting it because. Okay, so here is a look inside of my ad set for just one of these. That didn't really make sense. I mean, just one ad set. I'm sorry. Anyways, uh, for this particular ad set, I am doing what's called manual bidding. So I set my budget at a thousand, and then I have my bid set at a, a fairly high bid, usually like thirty to forty dollars. Um, that's an advanced strategy to use. As you can see, I haven't spent a lot today considering it is 12.41 p.m. So I probably need to raise the bid here. Uh, we can see the total amount that I've spent versus the amount I've spent today. The website purchase conversion value is 175000 And then um, you can see here the amount of add to carts, or I mean the add to carts are here. This is the view contents, and then the the total amount of purchases are here, and that breaks down to nineteen dollars and sixty cents per website purchase conversion. And I am optimizing for purchases actually. Um, as you can see now, Facebook asks that you get about 50 purchases needed per week. I really don't give a shit because it's still converting and I'm happy. But supposedly in order for Facebook to truly optimize, you need about 50 purchases or whatever optimization goal you optimize for. So whether that is view content, add to cart, or purchases choose your poison and test it. And now we'll go uh, take a look at some things that we could possibly target on Facebook ads. All right, so we're in the campaign creation level, a lot of people ask me, you know, if I do PPE ads, which are page post engagement ads, um, both engagement and video views would be examples of engagement optimization ads. Uh, if I do them, I only do maybe like 10%, if that even, probably much less. prefer just to optimize for conversions. But again, every business is different, so what works for me may not work for you, and that's why you always have to test. I'm just going to choose conversions for now. And I don't care, I'm just going to call it conversions. All right, so choose your goal. I'm just gonna leave it on purchase just because uh, since my high ticket supplier is in the United States and I only ship to the United States, I'm going to leave it in the United States. Um, now I would use custom audiences because I have a extensive list built up after all the purchases 
and such my pixel is smart and now I can retarget and uh, target people that are far more likely to buy my stuff so but if you need to start out cold like how I did originally we can start messing around with the age uh, most 18 year olds are far from being rich so probably gonna want to at least set it up to be 24 and above if not further maybe like 32 and above so whatever whatever you think is best and then let Facebook do the optimization relieve gender on all because there are you know influential men and women and then we can let Facebook optimize for that and then check the breakdown columns later Languages we can leave alone because we're just targeting the United States. Most people in the United States know how to speak English, okay? Um, I usually check this off just because it kind of negates the idea of split testing interests. Um, so here you have many different suggestions to choose from. Let's take a look at some of the behaviors. Now, when you choose behaviors, uh, you will notice an increase of cost. So just be aware that if you decide to test it. Um, again, I'm not a huge fan of choosing behaviors, but you guys can certainly test it too, because everything is worth testing. Um, let's see, uh, furniture. So here you have a lot of things that people are interested in terms of furniture, Ashley furniture, lawn furniture, uh, ready to assemble furniture. You can look into some of the, the bigger companies that do furniture. I'm sure Wayfair is even an option here. Yeah, Wayfair is even an option. There's 10 million people interested in that. Uh, most people who are interested in Wayfair probably have some sort of money. Um, you married. Yeah, relationship status, married, um, married with children. What is married to medicine? <laughs> yeah, so statuses are an interesting thing to target too. How did me? There's some interesting interests here, but yeah, play around with interests based off your targeted demographics. Um, I like to do them one by one, but you can bundle them if you need to or want to. Again, I have balls. I know a lot of people don't. You just gotta test, 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 test. If you don't test, you lose because you don't know. Uh, you want data, data for the future. Uh, then you go to edit placements here. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of advertising on Instagram for furniture, at least not this far yet. Audience network, not messenger either. Uh, not instant articles and not the right column. I'm okay with desktop for advertising high end furniture. I know some people will still definitely shop for furniture on a desktop versus mobile, especially the the more influential older audience. So, but you want to make sure you can hit them either on desktop or mobile. Um, daily budget. So if you're running on auto bid, you know it's it's just based on what you're comfortable with for setting your daily budget. I usually do like 40 to 80 bucks for starters just to kind of test things out. But uh, again, I have balls and I can do it. So uh, that's what I prefer to do. Some people like to do lifetime budget. I prefer just to do daily and not worry about scheduling because I hate schedules. And let's see, and conversions, it's fine. Seven day or one day view. There's kind of a uh, no clear consensus on what is best here. 
this will give you the a larger window of optimizations so theoretically it might be better but uh for me one day click usually works best for my businesses but some people swear by this some people swear by that some people swear by this so whatever choose, choose one test it see how it works for you um interesting this has changed actually hold on this is actually new to me set a bit cap okay so now there's no okay interesting now there's no clear difference well there is a difference but um your lowest cost so this is automatic bidding which i think is kind of misleading um so right now for my stuff i like to do set a bid cap because this is the equivalent of of manual bidding and then i'll set my price at something like 40 bucks or something like that um this is kind of like uh manual bidding but the average manual bidding which to me is is pretty much the same as auto auto bid so keep that in mind uh let's see target cost uh, even if you raise your budget you may not Get the lowest cost because they'll bid around your target. Yeah. Well, I guess more things to to play around with. Hooray! Thank you, Facebook. Uh, I'm just gonna stick with the bid cap. But yeah, totally up to you on on what strategy you want to take. Again, if you want to do out of bed, you would just leave this alone and let it roll. And then you would continue and then choose your ad creative, which would ideally be kind of like one of those examples we went over earlier on that viral style type page, leading to a, a link to one of the, the pre-sale articles. Cool. Hope that provided some more insight. Um, I'm going to end this video. Peace.